just a prayer of thanksgiving, whatever's on your heart. Do you thank him for your 10 fingers? Ten to whatever it is, we're going to lift up a prayer of thanksgiving. Sister Angela was at the hospital the other week. Sister Vespa was at the hospital the other week. And, and we're all here by the grace of God. Yeah. So, we pray the so let's start with this. Um, uh, Sister Vespa, we're so, so glad to have her back. Thank you. Um, do you have a scripture for us tonight, as always? Yes, I have a scripture that I'll, I'll and read. And she's going to open us in prayer. Okay. So, but here Hallelujah. Right. Yeah. Praise God. Take it away. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank I want you. to give thanks to God and give thanks to God for healing me, for healing my Amen. body. Yes. Thank you, Father. For each one of us here who is healing us and we just have Amen. to hold on to it. It might not manifest itself right away, but healing is here. It's whenever we get sick, I think it's showing us that our healing. It's, it's right coming right us for us. It's overtaking us, you know. We just got to receive yeah. it. But I, I was looking at what to read on my bio because um, I came up and I said, I'm going to read Colossians, Colossians 3, but I'm not going to read the whole thing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read Colossians 3, starting at verse 5. It said, Modify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinance, affection, evil concoctions and covetousness which is idolatry for which things sake the wrath of god come on the children of disobedient mm. in which you also also walk sometime when you lived in them but now you are also put off all these numbers wrath malice blasphemy filthy communication out of your mouth lie not one to another seeing that we have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the mm. image of him that created him where where there is neither greek nor jew circumcision nor uncircumcision barbarian Scythians, bond nor free but christ is all and in all put on therefore as the elect of god holy and beloved bowels of mercy kindness Humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, mm -hmm. forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do you. And above all these things, put on the put on charity, which is the bond of perfection, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the, which also you are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in mm. psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with mm. grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God and the Father. Amen. Praise Amen. Amen. Jesus, bless your name, God. Thank you for your words. Thank you, Lord God, for your words of faith that we learn to, that faith comes by hearing and mm. by your word, and that it takes patience to let faith grow. And so yes. faith is grown and come full force that we shall manifest your works in us. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your love, that you've loved us. You love us so much that you were wounded for us. You thank were you. Used for our transgression. The chastisement of our peace was upon you. Mm. your stripes we are healed we thank you oh god for loving us we thank you for your grace and mercies we thank you lord god for all the sisters and brothers present here tonight thank you for, thank you for your we are our families we thank yes, you for our thank children you. and our grandchildren we thank you for your protection over them we thank you mm. for guidance and wisdom as they children are getting ready to go back to school lord god we just ask your guidance and wisdom cover them, them. Cover oh. them with your Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we ask you for wisdom. We ask you for guidance for we as mm. parents and grandparents to help our children. We thank mm. you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your great love. We thank you for Brother Joel as he travels over the world, but he still has time on Monday evening to come to help us. Thank you, Father. More. We thank you, God. We thank you that you love us, that you put us in position, that we can always learn and hear more about you. Mm. We love you, Lord Jesus, and we come now and we open ourselves to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of God.
Hallelujah. Gonna ask Sister Darlene if she'll be the next prayer um, voice to lift up a thanksgiving to God. God bless you. Good night to everyone. Okay. Good night. Good night. Yes. Lord, tonight we give you thanks and we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Father, for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us thus far, Lord. Mm. Father, we only hear because of your goodness, Lord. It's nothing good that we have done because mm. in a, of ourselves, Lord, we are weak. But Lord, yeah. we come in humility tonight, Lord. Recognize that all that we have comes from you, Lord, Father. And Lord, we come back to say thank you for your goodness, thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank, thank you. you for watching over us, Lord God, for oh. guiding us and protecting us, oh God, and keeping us safe, keeping our family safe, Lord. Lord, every provision that you have made, oh God, we know that everything has come from your hands, oh God. And Lord, tonight we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for every sister that are here tonight and brothers, oh God, that have gathered to, to listen and to hear and to glean, oh God, from you. Father, it's such yes. a privilege, oh God, that we can hear your word, oh God, Father. Lord, let us let it not fall on deaf ears, oh God. Mm. But Lord, let us, oh God, hear and take heed to what you said to us yes, tonight, Lord yes. God. Yes, yes. And make them applicable to our lives, oh God. Because we mm. know, Father, we cannot live outside of your word, Lord. Because your mm. word is life. And so tonight we really say thank you for everything, oh God, that your thank hands you, have provided for us, oh God. Thank you that you are the way, God. And we come to seek you, Lord God. We surrender mm. our all to you tonight, Lord God. And we ask yes. you to speak to us, oh God. Remove anything and us. everything that is of self, Father. Anything that will hinder us from hearing, oh God, your voice, oh, oh God. Father God, to Brother Joel tonight, Lord. We pray that you will remove those things, oh God, that are within us. Anything that is of ourselves, Lord. And Lord, we come, oh Lord God, hearing. We come to hear your voice. So oh Lord, help us to so hark. Oh God, with all diligent, Lord of oh God, as we hear you speak to us tonight, dear Father. Yes, Lord, yes. you desire for us to change. You desire, oh God, to become more Christ like, Lord God, in the earth, Lord. Because, mm. Father, we recognize that there's so much that is around us the darkness, oh God, and the lies and the deception, Lord God. Mm. But, Father, tonight, Lord God, we come to hear truth, Lord we Father, come. so we can understand and differentiate, Lord God what is of light and what is of truth and what is valuable in your kingdom. And so tonight yeah. we say, thank you, Lord God, for thank your will you, and your way. Thank you for the wisdom that we're receiving, Lord, to the imparted mm. word, oh God. Lord God, we surrender all to you afresh tonight, Lord. And we say, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Let your will be done, Lord. Let your will be done. Our heart, oh God, yield to you, Lord. Speak to us, Lord, Father. Uh, may we fully surrender to your will in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Anybody else? Or am I going to ask for someone? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for another opportunity to meet again. Oh. We thank you, Lord, that this morning we woke up in our right mind. Yes. Ma Arms are working. Limbs are oh. working. And mm. for that, we are, thank we are thankful. Heavenly Father, you are the giver of life yes, and health. Sir. Comfort and relieve all those who are sick and going through their little aches and yeah. pain, Lord. I thank you yeah. that when I went to the ER twice, mm. it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I, I was in a lot of pain, and you said it was mm -hmm. a pinch nerve, but it's You're not that great. bad. So yeah. they're working on something to give me to relieve mm. the pain. So, mm. Lord, I'm thankful that it Thank wasn't you. as bad as it could have been. Thank you, Lord. And I, I give you power of, of healing to those mm. who minister to your needs. Lord, you're always grateful and bless us in many, many, many ways. Yes. If you said we have not because we ask not. So we ask in now, Lord, for forgiveness for things we have done in thought, word, and deed. And mm. for giving us a pure heart, Lord. We want Jesus. to be like you. And I know we make mistakes all the time, Lord. But every time we make a mistake, the good thing about it is you, you, you didn't stop loving us. You still love us. Mm. As mm. long as we confess our sins, you, Lord, you forgive us. So, Lord, I am praying now that everybody who is traveling, anybody who is traveling or hope to travel, that you will give each mm -hmm. and every one of them traveling grace. We thank yeah. you for Brother Joel for taking the time to give us this message that you put on mm -hmm. his heart for us, oh, Lord, Thank so you. that we could be better because you said 
the word. We have to be fed the word in order to be the Christians that you want us to be. So again, yes. Lord, I thank you for everything that you have done and will continue to do. And bless us for the week, Lord Father, all these things. Yeah. And Lord, not forgetting the children that are going back to school, Lord. I Jesus. thought about them and it's so much turmoil going on uh, with these kids and shooting in school. And Lord, we're just praying that they have a safe school year. Mm. I'm praying, Lord, too, for my grandson who is going to go in a, 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 not he's in a group home right now, but he's going into a, a I wouldn't say an institute, but a, a center where they're going to do everything for him, Lord. So I'm Jesus. just praying, Lord, that they're able to change some of the ways that he has and that mm. he could be better and that one day he could come home it's Here five and a half hours from where we live lord so we just praying that you you take care of him take care of the people who are there with him so that yes. you know they won't injure him or do anything bad mm. to him lord father none of the kids in in, in that case so i'm yeah. so thankful lord that all the times that he eloped we found him Mm. It was such a blessing, Lord. Uh, it, it was mm. hard knowing that he was missing, but I'm glad now that he's in a safe place. And I thank you, yes. thank, you thank you so much, Lord, you, for Lord that. God. All these things I ask in your name. Faithful. Amen. Yeah. Faithful is our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm watching the time. I'm going to ask Sister Monica if you're able to, uh, to close out this prayer session so we could move into the next segment. Sister Monica, are you available? Are you able? Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord God. Yes. Jesus. Almighty God, we magnify your name. Mm. Your all honor and praise. Mm. You are God. You are our Father. You said you have adopted us. You said today we are yours. Yes. We thank you. There's so many things to thank you for, God. We cannot elicit all of them. Mm. Lift to magnify your name. We thank you for yes. this day. We thank you that we can we can get together mm. in this medium to study your word, to magnify you, to love thank you. you. And we depend on you and we are all yours. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all the sisters and brothers who are meeting. Meet them at their point of need, oh God. And today, open our hearts, our minds to learn about you. Mm. Give us the food that we need, oh God. Yes, Father. Take of it. Let us mm. get fulfilled and let us hunger for more. Father, teach us so we can live as you want us to live. That your yes. will be done in our lives. Yes. Your word is our life. Oh. We cannot live without it. Hmm. Father, tonight we ask your blessing. We know that Brother Joel, you have blessed him, Lord. You have laid your hands on him, Lord. Yes. And we see the manifestation of it. And we praise you for that, Lord. Yeah. We praise you for that, Lord. We thank you for this day. And Father, as we go into our lessons, you, we know that you are with us because you said where two or three are gathered. Mm. In your name, you're in the midst. Yes, sure. So we give you thanks and we open our hearts, our minds to learn all about you so we can get closer to you in mm. Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to ask you all to mute, and it is now in the hands of Brother Gerald. Bless you. Thank you. Cannot hear you, Brother Gerald. Cannot hear you. Okay. I'm muted. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is always such a wonderful opportunity for us to get together and Monday nights come so quickly <laughs> we thank God because as born again believers we're, we're really not on the calendar or are we on the watch we have eternal life and interestingly enough the same born again spirit that we have now 
is that same spirit that we're going to have throughout all eternity. So we got the spirit. We got our brand new spirit. We don't have brand no new bodies yet, but we're going to get a redeemed body. But we have a body that Jesus himself paid the price for its healing. And, and we have the receipt. The stripes of Jesus is what it was. So healing belongs to us. The adversary will try to rob us of all of the things that God has made available to us. But there is no reason for us to be in doubt. There's no reason for us to give up. So we give God thanks and praise. We, we started last week talking about praise. Praise. And the significance of praise. Uh, you know, sometimes we we become stressed, stressed, and uh, and even depressed. And and when we find ourselves in situations like that, there is really a way for us to depart from the stress and the depression that would that would come into our lives and and what we really need desperately is god's presence the the scripture says that in his presence is what fullness now now what is fullness talk to me somebody what is fullness plenty everything complete overflowing overflowing plenty complete. fullness fullness means that there is no more room room for yep. anything else yes it's full full your cup and it's is talking full. about about fullness of joy you know yes imagine in his presence is fullness, fullness of, of joy people. That means your cup is overflowing. And at his right hand are pleasures forevermore. Now let us talk about this joy. What is this joy? It means no matter what is going on, no matter what is going on in your life, you still have that joy and that peace yes. that can only come from God. Mm. No matter what the situation, no matter what the circumstance, you know it's going to be all right. And it's you know going to be all right, or you know that it, it is, is all right. It is all right. That you know that you know that you know that it is all right. <laughs> right. Because if you're going to know that it is going to be all right, then there's a problem. It is all right. It is all right. In his presence is fullness of joy. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, 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 we spent quite a, a good amount of time talking about Brother Paul and Silas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and where, did, where, where did they find themselves? Jail. Where were they? In jail. <laughs> they were in jail. And by the way, what crime did they commit? None. They didn't commit any crime. So what were they in jail for? Healing. Pete this talking day. about Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, they were in jail for sharing the good news good of the day. kingdom. Yes. Yeah. Right. Where the good news of the kingdom the good news was being made manifest among people where the sick people got healed and all of the works of the devil, all of the works of the devil were threatened and they ended up in jail and they were in prison. 
And not only did they end up in jail, it's not a matter of taking them and arresting them, you know. They, they took were... these guys' clothes off and beat them yeah. until yes. they were bleeding. Yes, they were beaten. Beat them until they were bleeding. Mm -hmm. Right? And what did these guys do? They did not fight for their rights. With all that was happening, the fullness of joy yes. was so real in their lives that they started to praise God. Mm -hmm. Started to praise God. And as they started to praise God, it was impossible for the adversary to get to them with one modicum of depression. <laughs> they were never stressed. They recognized how blessed they were. Yeah. Not being stressed, but being blessed. So when the adversary pours it on, mm. hmm. And he's trying to make life difficult for us. They we have been learning that we bring into our existence, our environment, they the blessings of God me. through praise. They didn't say, why me? They didn't say, why me? Mm -mm. They said, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are our help and our strength. Yep. And look at what happened as they begin to praise God. <laughs> God sent angel. an angel. Loosen all the chains. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. So tell us what happened, Sister Monica. <laughs> the chains fell off their own and the uh, door was open and they could leave so what we see happening here right and we spoke about that last week about saul and how david had to play the harp for saul and when david was playing the harp based on the the, the 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 songs he wrote right saul sensed the presence of god but when david left mm. he left with the presence of god and saul was being tormented by evil spirits so we have to understand why we get depressed and stressed yes it is because of the absence of God's presence. And God wants us to live in the environment of his presence. That is where he wants us to dwell. Remember now, you know, that we are God's children. So we belong in his house. And we're not talking about a physical house. We're talking about a physical, a spiritual house where his presence is and thank god prayer brings us into that situation so we need god's peace and calm in the place of our anxiety and whatever struggles we're going through those situations the adversary is going to cause to happen and we could take all the Tylenols we want to and all the antidepressant drugs. None of those would bring us peace. And simply because medication can't fix our problems. So even if we feel better for a short time, the pills will soon wear, wear off, right? And we will be right back to where we were before we took the pills so so the word is telling us instead of reaching out for pills and i'm not saying that anything is wrong with pills i'm telling you that pills are temporary 
instead of reaching out for pills, let us reach out to the healer, Jesus. Let's reach out to him. Now, as we know, pills will just deal with the symptoms, deal with the symptoms of the problem. But the stripes of Jesus is going to deal with the root of our problems. That is how God deals. He deals with the root cause of the problem. So when God's presence is in our house, this is our house, you know. When God's presence is in our house, our struggle and anxiety are replaced with God's peace and with God's rest. So, right here where we are now, I want us to stop for a few moments. I want us to stop for a few moments. I want everybody to turn on their cameras if they can. And I want us to raise our hands right now to God and let us praise God for the good things that God has brought into our lives. Let us praise God for the good things that he has brought into our lives. Now, I haven't seen some, some of the cameras, but that's all right. So I hope, I hope that you are shouting in the background if you can. Thank Praising you, God for the good oh, things. You. God thank has you, brought Lord. some good thank things into our lives. Every thank good you, and perfect gift comes from you, Lord. And as we praise him, as we praise him, we praise him, we bring him to our presence, where we enjoy the fullness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, Father. Fullness of this. You didn't have to do it. We did it, Lord. I'm grateful. We give you praise and glorify and magnify your name. Thank you, Lord. You are merciful. Your every glory to be give you praise, to give you praise, to give you praise, to give you praise, to let me praise an individual praise to give to you tonight. We say hallelujah, we say glory to God, we say thank you, God, thank you, and as we give it all the thanks, I want to give it all the thanks, specifically now. Yes. Yes. Sister Angela Lewis's grandson. I want you to give a praise right now for thank you, the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Sister Angela, what's your grandson? Elijah. Praise you, Lord. Elijah. Elijah. Okay, let us thank God. Elijah's deliverance. And Sister Valerie, Sister Valerie, I want us for this yeah. coming week to mm -hmm. focus on this young man. Elijah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Put his name up, and I just want us to praise God for his deliverance. I, yes, I, I sense in, in my spirit. I sense in my spirit Amen. that we can have our breakthrough. Breakthrough. Yes, yes. thank you, Lord. Man, by giving yes. God praise Lord. and Amen. worship for his deliverance. This young man is not supposed to be five and a half hours away from his parents, yes. from his mother, from his family. Glory and he must be released yes. just like how Paul and Silas were Thank released. You, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Because they were offering praises to God. We're going to go down the prayer, the praise route for this young man's yes, complete yes, thank you, Lord. deliverance. Thank you, Lord. The works of the adversary oh, must God be completely oh, dismantled oh, against his Lord. Lord. Thank you. Hello, we, we, I want us to collectively focus on this. Yes, we post a lot of things on our site, but mm -hmm. I want us to focus on something that is significant. Yes. The deliverance of this young man. Yes, Lord. Yes. And our faith, our faith is going to be encouraged mm -hmm. when we see the focus. 
the yes, focus Lord. that is placed on his deliverance. Yes, Lord. Yes, Remember, Lord. Peter, Thank you, Jesus. Peter was being prepared for his death. Yes. Mm. yes Lord. Herod already killed James. Mm. And it felt good to the Jews to persecute God's children. Yes. yes. And what happened is that the church collectively, we have to get to this point in our walk yes. and our relationship as, 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 as bodies here at nights, right? Mm. At on Monday nights, Christian brothers and sisters, we have to now mm. begin to focus, pinpoint focus to see yes. deliverance. Yes, Lord. Like we have never done before. And I want us to focus. Let's set aside all of the things that we want to write and we want to share with each other. Let us set that aside and let us focus. Just like how mm. the church focused mm. on Peter's deliverance. Yes. And while yes. they were praying, Peter wasn't praising. Mm. In this case, Peter was not praising, but the church was praying. Mm. And it is their prayer that brought God on the scene. Mm. And God took control of the prison and released Peter. There is that power and anointing that is available yeah. to us. Yeah. We have it. God mm. says, well, God says he has given it to us. Yes. Mm. All that we need. Yes, He's given it to us, and this young man needs to be set free. And God is asking us you only have to take to take the responsibility. Yes, please to have this young man released from the hands of God. Yes, yes, we yes. are a completely different mm. set of people. We have the responsibility here on earth mm. to continue Jesus' ministry. That is yes. what he called us to do. And the same way Jesus was baptized with the Holy Spirit, and it is after Jesus was baptized with the Holy Spirit, you know, that his ministry started. Mm. Three and a half years of, of ministry. The moment we've accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Mm. Holy Spirit, yeah. And we've asked the Holy asked God for the Holy Spirit. He's given him to us. Yeah. The greater one lives inside of us. How can we have to reach the state, Sister Caroline, where we're going to say enough is enough? We must see the deliverance yes. of our brothers and sisters, of yes. our children who've been trapped. Mm, hallelujah. By the works of the mm. Mm. We can collectively, that is what the Spirit is saying to us, we can collectively break Amen. those bodies. Thank you, Lord. The curse, Lord. And the latter part Angela of Jesus. Angela was speaking, a sister Angela was speaking. I sense that burden as though it were my own grandchild. Mm -hmm. And why should my grandchild and our grandchildren be free mm -hmm. from these attacks? Mm -hmm. And we just sit back and say, okay, our grandchildren are okay. But here is our sister with a grandson who needs deliverance. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. And we're not going to stop. Sister Angela, by the grace of God, like the oh. church prayed for Jesus. deliverance, it is in the same way that we're going to pray and believe God. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And we have prayed. Mm. So now we're going to praise God for Thank his you, deliverance. Lord. Thank you. Thank you. He Lord. deserves to be free. God yeah. wants him to be free. God made him to be free. Yes. Yeah. What's, what's his name, Brother Joel? His name is Elijah and he's autistic. Okay. I spelled it on the screen. Did I spell it right? A L I J A H? He's 15 years old. A L I J A H. Yeah. Okay, good. It's on the screen. Right. So we got to, 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 we got to collectively. Yes. Yes. What, what, state, what state is he living in? Texas. 
Okay, he lives in Texas. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. And you know, James chapter four, um, verse two, the latter part of verse two said, we do not have because, because we, we ask have. not. And look what Brother Joel took us. Yes. That's what we're, we're, we're going to do. We're going to ask God. We're going to petition the throne of mercy. Yes, Lord. Take child. Our body. But we, we Take have, we have to prayed. Your throne, Lord. Yeah. Remember, remember mm. Peter, Paul, and Silas. Mm. Yeah. The church was mm. praying. Yeah, but Paul yeah, and mm. Silas were praising the power yeah. of praise mm. and mm. the power of prayer. We're going to mm. combine those two for the deliverance of this young man. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name Thank you, Lord. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God. Thank you, Lord. Thanks, Father. Lord, you say come boldly to your throne and bring our favors, Lord. Yes. yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Father. Thank you, as God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Twenty-two meters every day. Jesus. And the man of Christ. We have the power. We have the power. So we have the, power. the power. Yes. God the has given us the power yes. to trample yes. on serpents yes, and, and scorpions. Yes, Jesus. And over all of the works of the devil. Praise the Lord. So yes, the Lord. Lord. Shall by Jesus. Will not come so near us. us. Breaking chains of Elijah, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the chains of Elijah being released. In the name of we thank you, God, for the chains of Elijah to be released. We thank you, Father. Jesus, we give you praise. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for the broken chains of Elijah in your name. Like this, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, we magnify you, glory be to you, Lord. 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 Lord.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Nothing is impossible. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Lord, you say you never leave us nor forsake us. You never leave any Elijah, Lord. You never leave him, Lord. You never leave him, Lord. Wrap your arms around this right now, Lord. Wrap your arms around Elijah now and pray, Lord. We give you praise. We thank you. We honor you. We magnify you, Lord. There's only one God. So, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. Glory to your name, Father. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes we might not feel Jesus. like praising God. Hallelujah. But but now is Hallelujah. the time for yes. us to make Praise our him. will, yes, make our will yes, take Lord. control of our emotions. Yes. Hallelujah, yes. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Yes. We thank God for the gift of peace that God Lord, has Lord, given to us. Glory, glory to God. We thank God, God, God that He is in control of our lives. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank God for God's concerns about us. Yes, yes Lord. We God's thank you. Never ending faithfulness to us. We give God that. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, God. Hallelujah. You know, God never leaves us. Hallelujah. Amen. So we just need to bring God the sacrifice of praise. This is yes. sacrifice of praise. And sacrifice we need to do this praise. until we sense God's presence in our spirit. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So I'm asking us to make a commitment yes. to bask yes. in God's love and God's tender care for us. Basking in your love tonight, Lord. You see, we 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 Thank worry you, we worry so much because we think we think that we have to fix yes, things for ourselves. <laughs> and not realizing that God is the one who fixes things, not us. Yes. Mm. We give you praise for fixing so it is things. It's our God. responsibility to make the conditions yeah. right so that God can come and do his work in us. Yes, and Lord, yes, us. Jesus. Yes. yes. So yes, when God. we make room for God through praise, mm -hmm. God and comes in and that. God takes over. And it's that is over. why Hallelujah. If we protect Jesus. God's Glory presence in name. our lives. Glory to your name. Praise. Thank you. So, we will thank find you. Our, our our situations, our conditions to be like what God wants them to be. Mm -hmm. Praise mm -hmm. makes room for God yeah. and leaves no room for the adversary. Hallelujah. Said. So, so, so what needs to happen is that as soon as we come come become aware of anything that is disrupting God's presence in our personal lives, Hallelujah. and also in the lives of God's children, God's people, Thank you, Lord. We must activate praise. Yeah. Yes. And this is what is going to empower us to take charge over whatever is threatening mm -hmm. us. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Our Jesus. peace of Lord. mind, our peace of mind demands God's presence. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Lord, you said the world is yours and everything so that the world belongs to God's presence. And being zealous to guard God's presence, we will find that our moments of crisis and turmoil will be less frequent. Yes. Because yes. God's yes. presence will be in our environment all the time to bring us the peace, that peace that passeth all understanding. understanding. So without God's yes. presence, they're always going to be looking for help. Mm -hmm. And it is with God's presence that our souls are at rest and our labor is easy. Yes, yes. Amen. And our we can find true peace by avoiding the struggle. We can find true peace yeah. by avoiding the struggle before the struggle begins. Yes. And our yes, God. That to do with it too, Brother Joel. Give me a little more volume, please, Sister Glenda. I said our attitude to what's what's going on 
has a lot to do with it too, our attitude of what's going on with us at the moment. Well, that's it. Well, we're going to have to turn Thank off Lord. our attitude and turn up our praise. That's I have, right. Yes. Yes. What yes. happened? Yes. I tell you what happened this morning. Go ahead, sister. Oh, no, a little more volume, sister. Monica. Monica. Um, this morning I woke up. I, I have not been able to get in with the peop my people in Tobago for a while. And I woke up this morning at 3 o'clock and I just found myself worrying. And then I said, I caught myself and said, why am I worrying? I, why am I worrying? God has taken me this far. I didn't ask him for all this stuff. He gave it to me. So why would he leave me naked at this point? And Brother Joel, I got up, turn up, three o'clock in the morning, and I started singing worship songs and praising. And, and I, I have a, a dot in my room, and I asked Alexa to play worship songs. And for about an hour and a half, all I did. And I all of a sudden, when I woke up, my heart was pounding and I could feel it in my head and I started worshiping singing and shouting and my pulse went down to 60 and I went back to sleep and I woke up at 7 praise the Lord amen what happened this morning at 3 o'clock you hear what the psalmist David says God inhabits the praises of, of his, his children. children. He yeah. comes to live there. Yeah. Yep. You see, we got privileges and opportunities. Yes, that Lord. We just may go, let go of begging. Yes. God has a system. God has principles. Mm. I, I and they will never change. Live it. Water is Thank always you, going Jesus. to wet. Fire yeah. is always going to burn. Wind is always yeah. going to blow. And praise is always going to bring deliverance. Amen. Thank you for deliverance, Lord. Look at what Jesus says in Matthew eleven twenty nine. 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. From for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest if we learn from Jesus. Is not anybody else we need to learn from? Nobody else. Nobody else has anything meaningful to contribute to any man's life but Jesus. Hmm. When we were dead in our trespasses and sins, alienated from God. Yes. It was Jesus who came. Yes. Yes. And no, reconciled no. us to himself when we were what? Dead. Dead. In Dead. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So now that we are alive in Christ, mm. our glorious ambition is to praise God. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise God. Give him praise. Because whenever we praise God, we find ourselves in God's presence. And let me tell you something about God's presence more. God's presence attracts the right people in our living. Amen. Thank you, Father. Once we're at peace with what's happening in our lives, God's peace. We can trust God to bring the right people and the right opportunities our way. It expands to a development where God's will is being done in our individual and personal lives. Yeah. God did yeah. not bring us here to suffer. No. Mm. Thank the Lord. God brought man into existence to have fellowship with him. This is not no willy-nilly situation. But God knew that at the fall, when our forefathers, our forefather and our foremother disobeyed God, God knew what 
he to, God told them what the consequences were. Yet they went ahead and violated God's instructions. And that caused us to be born again, you know, into another life mm -hmm. where the devil himself became our parents, our father. Mm -hmm. And Jesus and God sent Jesus to bring us back into a relationship with him that is so significant. And he has brought all of us together, brought us together. So you are in my life and I am in your life. And Jesus lives within us. And we're supposed to be partners together with Christ. Mm. That's our function. Mm. So when something is going wrong within the body, the body of Christ, not our own individual bodies, but within, the, in, within our individual bodies and the body of Christ, when something is going wrong, God has a system to correct it. Yes. And not only does he have a system to correct it, but he wants to fix it. Yes. Jesus said, I'm come that you would have life. And, more and have abundant life. Abundance. For abundance. Thank you, Jesus. Abundant life. Mm -hmm. Only A because... life <laughs> that has everything that the kingdom wants us to have. Yes. No wonder Jesus taught the disciples long before they understood what he was saying. Seek first the kingdom. And everything else. And everything exactly. else gets added. Everything added. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you for your word, Jesus. Thank you. So people are attracted to us because they are attracted to God, you know. Yes. Mm. Moses said in Exodus 33, 15, listen to this. If your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. Mm. And he continued to say, how will anyone know that you are pleased with me and with your people unless you go with us god is not allowing us to go any place by ourselves he's with us we need to recognize that and live with that consciousness mm. what else Thank will you, distinguish Lord. me moses is talking to god he says what else will distinguish me from your from, distinguish me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth, God's children are special. He says, our life should be distinguished because God hangs out with us, not for what we have or what we do. When God is with us, people are drawn to us and they don't even know why, Sister Valerie. Mm -hmm. They have no reason why they're involved with you and your movie. They don't know. But what happens is that they see something that they cannot describe mm -hmm. and feel something that they cannot explain. Mm -hmm. We are special people. Mm -hmm. We are God's chosen children. You see, they know that something is going on with us, even though they have no clue what it is. Yeah. But what is happening in truth is that they're being drawn to God, not to us. So God's presence with us, Sister Monica, must make a difference. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you that I'm your heirs, God. <laughs> exactly. His presence with us must make a difference. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. You see, some folks would come around us and they're attracted to us more by the things we do and the blessings we have received than yes. the presence of God. Yes. But it is not, it is more than the blessings that we have received. It's God's 
presence. Hmm. Amen. I tell you, so this is why we need to be consistent. I have so many in praise. It's a shame. It's that the presence of God is continual, continuously with us, sister, sister Alice. Mm -hmm. Now, God will clean our house. Yes. Also, so that the people who are not supposed to be in our life will leave. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I think that's what he's doing. For me. Hallelujah. Awesome is our God. Awesome is our God. Hallelujah. Thank now, you. God's presence, as we know, brings blessings. But what mm -hmm. are the blessings? What are God's blessings? Peace. And how do we know that we have received them? You see, to receive the blessings of God is not to receive is to receive anything, sorry, and everything we need to fulfill our lives. Yes. King David put it this way in Psalm 65, verse 4. Blessed are those you choose mm -hmm. and bring near to live in your courts. Mm -hmm. It says that we are filled with the good things of your house, mm -hmm. of your holy temple. Mm -hmm. So we're tempted to think that the good things of God's house are material things. Material things. Mm. Although some of them are. God certainly blesses us with prosperity. Mm -hmm. The good things of God really are the essential qualities of God's character. Mm. And here they are. Love. Mm. Joy. Peace. Patience. We were talking about that earlier before, before most of you joined. Patience. Faith cannot work without patience. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Mm. That is why we can attest to the goodness of God in our lives when we start to look and act as god does so that god's purpose for us will be fulfilled in our lives mm -hmm. and this actually happens when our lives are turned over to god whenever the adversary shows up to make life difficult for us the first thing that we should do is to thank god because he's telling us, look, wherever you find yourselves, I'm there. in everything, he says, in, the valley, yeah. in everything, in everything, give thanks. Mm -hmm. You know where Daniel was? In the lion's den. Mm -hmm. He was in the lion's den. Mm -hmm. And you know, those lions could not harm Daniel. Why? Because Daniel was in God's presence. Mm -hmm. So I presume that even the lions were so happy to experience the presence of God mm -hmm. that they lost their appetite. But understand what happened when Daniel was removed from the lions then. Mm -hmm. The guys who were responsible for causing him to go there. You know what happened to them? The lions had an appetite for them. <laughs> the you understand the kind of protection that the children of God have? Yes. Amazing, amazing. Look at the three Hebrew boys. I could, I could. <laughs> Oh Jesus, thank you. King Nebuchadnezzar asked, Lord. asked the, 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 the people responsible for the furnace to make it seven times hotter. I don't know how you measure seven times hotter. Mm. And that is where they throw these guys in a fiery furnace. Mm. And we know that fire burns. Mm -hmm. And to make the furnace seven times hotter than normal, 
meant that almost instantaneously these guys should have insinuated. Mm -hmm. There should have been ashes mm -hmm. and the fire would not operate by its natural rules and regulations mm -hmm. as fire was created to do. Couldn't touch them. Not even the smoke from the fire not even the smoke from the fire was smell. Did they smell on these boys when they came out of the furnace? And yet the people, the people who were close to the furnace, got 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 burnt, mm -hmm. got burnt up, insinuated. Mm -hmm. Now, if this is not supernatural protection, I don't know what else is. Mm -hmm. But yet, sometimes God will operate like this. And sometimes, Sister Alice, we will have to go through the fire. Like the Hebrew boys. Yes. Sometimes he delivers us so we don't go. Yes. But no matter where we find ourselves, if God's presence is with us, mm -hmm. the adversary cannot function. Glory. Um, brother, I have testimonies, but. Hallelujah. I don't know. I'm mm. Go ahead. Not today. <laughs> no, go ahead. For today. <laughs> uh, uh, sometimes I, I, I wonder if I'm dreaming when things happen to me. I wonder if I'm dreaming. And if I if I didn't tell someone about it when it you would think that I made it up and and um a lot of things happen and um and the only reason I'm standing today is because the Holy Spirit lives in me mm -hmm. and I am protected all around and i can't see it but i know i know that they are there and and um i'm alone a lot when i'm in 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 tobago that's where most of the time that i i i feel is not that i feel his presence the manifestation of his presence is there Suffice it to say that um, if it was um, they are evil people, evil, and my husband has some terrible, evil family, and um, as I, I told God, I didn't ask for what he's given me. He gave it to me. I'm doing the best I can, but my husband's family don't want me to have it. They have done a lot of things. And only because I have God protecting me. Only because I have God. As one of my um one of my my husband's cousin even told me the last time I was there, he says, I hope you live to see this place finish. I said, It's finished. It's finished. But I've lived through some things, and as I said, only God. I just live to worship Him every day. And when I went to bed last night, I, I did worship Him before I went to bed. But every time I turn around, there's the, the adversaries trying. I don't know why he decided to try to get me to worry, to think otherwise. But I have to be on guard and be conscious of it and start, as I did this morning at 3 o'clock, start praising him, calling out to him, him like David did. Just like David, and I read a lot of the psalm, David, when David cry out and say, my enemies are out to eat my bones, to eat my flesh, my enemies are... I I have testimonies. God is good. Amen. Amen. 
And all we have to do is call out him and really leave. <laughs> Forget self. You're blessed. Sister Maniker, can I say something You're to blessed. you? Blessed. You see, the people are not your enemies. The devil tries to, or adversary tries to make it seem like it's the people. But the Bible yes. says that flesh and blood is not our enemies. Right. So in the name of Jesus Christ, we just bound every every evil force that comes against your husband's family like brother joseph we got to praise god so yeah. every evil force that comes against your husband family to try they, the the force is using the, the the people so in the name of jesus christ we just bind these forces we break every yoke and every burden and as you travel the grace of god covers you and then folds you in his blood and when he takes you to trinidad or by tobago he's there with you and every force that comes against you no weapon formed against you or whatever you're doing amen praise him for the word yes now 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 as we as we praise god we got a few more minutes as we praise God, you know, as we praise God, you know, Amen. it is as if God says, you praise me and I will praise you. Yeah. You honor me and yeah. I will honor me. Yeah. I, I will honor you. You lift me up, I will lift you up and I will lift you up. Yes. Actually, <laughs> we bless ourselves when we bless God for praise and worship. Mm. And David said in Psalms 24, verses 3 and 5, that those who have clean hands and a pure heart yes. will receive blessings from the Amen. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. And the contrary, Ooh. the opposite is true. Mm. Yes. God may remove blessings from our lives if we refuse to bless and honor and praise his name. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. How do I know that? This is what happened to Eli the priest who was serving God when Samuel was born. Yeah. Yeah. When Eli was old, his sons were dishonoring God and taking advantage of the people yeah. they were supposed to be serving. Right. And therefore, the God of Israel declares in Samuel 20, about Samuel, 1 Samuel 2.30, I promised that your house and your father's house would minister before me forever. <laughs> but now the Lord declares by not God's action, but by our actions, refusing to praise him, to serve him, to worship him, but now the Lord declares, far be it from me. Those who honor me, I will honor. Mm. But those who despise me will be disdained. The word of the Lord our God. Mm. Mm. Because our obedience in honoring God and our disobedience is treating God with, with contempt, and that contempt has lasting consequences. Mm -hmm. Sister Sandra has her hand raised. Go ahead, Sister Sandra. Okay. I um good night, everyone. I sent something to the um to the WhatsApp to the group. Brother Joel, I, I know you're a frequent traveler. And um I um I don't know if when I don't know if you can see what I sent, but um you you're a frequent traveler and when your, when flights are delayed, you're you you always be like at your gate and but just on on the screen. Usually, what is being shown? What usually on the screen? Well, they would tell you that the flight is delayed, mm -hmm. and and give you give you the, well give you, you the time when the when the when the change will take place. Okay, all right. So, so my niece who um you remember um a couple of years ago i told you um what happened to her in chicago she's relocating to um boston she's going to be a principal in cambridge so last week she was she she was moving down and so she was traveling last week thursday night and her flight was delayed and so she said um while she was there waiting looking up on the board 
this is what she saw. She had to take the picture because she said, Auntie, it was unreal. It says B22 Southwest. You win the endurance test. You are almost oh, there. Great. You got this. This is what was showing on the screen. Wow. With the flights that were delayed. She said it was unbelievable. Jesus. She had to take it. And so she, she took it and I said it to you guys. I just said Jesus. Uh, you you ever see when you make when you fly delay, you see this show? No, sir. No. No, nothing like that show. <laughs> well, I, I went through a situation last week, Sister Sandra, that is unbelievable. I left Boston on Tuesday. Tuesday morning at six. And I did not land in Barbados until Friday morning at 6.45, 6 o'clock a.m. Oh. I, I had a similar thing too. I was in Las Vegas for a conference with my son and my, my daughter, my son-in-law and my daughter. And we were supposed to leave that Friday and the flight keep delaying, delaying, like about four times it delayed and then it, they just canceled the flight. We couldn't leave out until Sunday, two wow. days after. And then they, we, we had a straight flight from Las Vegas to New Jersey. And then they sent us from Las Vegas to Houston and then from Houston to New Jersey. Wow. So much hours flying, it's crazy. Mm. But no, 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 no. You like see it. what I learned in all that? I learned something in this that was really remarkable. Not crazy. You, because your, your crazy things not happen to you. You're a child of God. Trust me, man. Yeah. I, don't I, missed the, I missed the flight, you know, because of, I call it incompetence. So I would have been in Barbados on Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday mm. night. Came back on Wednesday, flights full, couldn't make the flight. Came back on Thursday, got onto the flight on Thursday. Boarded the flight on Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening around 6.30. The flight is still on the ground at 11 o'clock. <laughs> wow. I went up to the front and asked the, 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 crew, the um, hostess, the hostess is, what's going on? They say, well, the flight can't leave because we don't have any pilots. <laughs> so we had we had to deplane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And wait for the pilots to come. Wow. And in that, uh, in all of that, I'm hearing in everything give yes, God thanks. Yes. But this is God's will concerning yes, you. Hallelujah. And that brought so much joy to my heart. Yeah. Right, yeah. But the only thing I could do is still, you're saying everything, give thanks. I want I want to obey you, Lord. <laughs> Get something that I shouldn't eat and eat at the airport when that happens. <laughs> I give you thanks. And the plane left at two o'clock in the morning. Unprecedented. Wow. And then when I came, when I landed here. No luggage. You didn't get my luggage in yesterday morning. <laughs> <laughs> everything gives thanks. Yeah. My sister, she was visiting from Toronto and she was in Vegas with us. So we were supposed to come in on Friday. So I would pick her up Saturday morning. So our flight canceled. She still got on her flight and she came to, Jer to, to JFK and no one to pick her up. So we had to get, and she's all, she, she doesn't live in New York from toronto so we had to get an uber and send her to the apartment and get the guys downstairs to let her into the apartment so she was here like two days by herself i had to video tell her where to find food and what to do and stuff like that so, wow. <laughs> it's so, so, so things are not going the way we want them right. to go and god is telling us it's all right okay. i got all it right. give okay. me thanks Yes. And when we give or, God thanks, it is for not for God's benefit, it's for our benefit because mm -hmm. we're giving thanks because what God has done. Yes. Anybody is telling you, give me thanks. <laughs> and, and, and then we have my sister-in-law, they're supposed to celebrate her 85th birthday. Um, Saturday, they wanted to do it last week Saturday, but they, they didn't do it last week Saturday, they did it this past Saturday. If they had done it last Saturday, she would have been in Vegas, she wouldn't have been here. 
And it just worked out that everything was just lined up for this Saturday for her to <laughs> celebrate the 8th of April. And everything. Sister Sandra, you got your hand raised. Listen, um, I was talking to Jerica just um, before I came on. And, you know, me and her, I encourage her and I just show her stuff and things and just try to to put the, the, the dots at the end of the day. And so, you know, she was saying to me, because you guys, I've, I've, I've told you guys what I've gone through coming here. You, you guys remember, right? No, just a little pieces. Of... And so she said, you know, her husband was coming through from Jamaica the other day. And um, she said, her, the husband said, you know what? I just want to openly let you know, just say thanks to you, you know, to you, to, to your mother. Because she said, when I, when I say I'm, I come through, to um immigration with my american book and they said welcome home and he was saying that because you know family is fa it's a long story and so you know i was saying to she and then the, uh, the list of people who have helped and so and I, and, and my daughter was like i'm mommy for nothing for free of course and i i don't intend to for nothing but i said you know what i said to her you see where I'm coming from. And so God prepared me so that I can be, could be a blessing to so many people. And, mm -hmm. and you guys um, knew, uh, knew, even with Tito kids, one of them a month ago, the last little girl, finally, she came, the first one came. And I just, I said, I give God thanks. I mm -hmm. said, God, what I've waited for so long has come to pass. And even though the, but I still am touching her life from 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 the distance you know and i say and so i i see i see where he took me from and what he picked was he was Thank preparing you. me for when i was going to get married and i called it up and i a couple months after i found tito and i said god i said god when the little girl tell us some story that she have gone through living in uh in boarding school i said god i see why the enemy fight so much for these children to come but i said to god be the glory amen. to god be the glory amen for yep. everything that he has done yep. 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 if god cannot do it sister sandra it cannot be done, cannot be done. Yep. hallelujah to god be the yes. glory to god be the glory sister well, no matter what's happening is be done yeah Sister, yeah. sister mm -hmm. Monica, I, as you were talking earlier about Tobago and um, family, um, the Lord sent me to this song. I just uh, want to read the chorus to you. It's one that my grandmother used to sing many years ago. It says, we have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Hallelujah. Fastened to the rock that cannot move. Grounded and firm, firm and deep. deep. You're grounded and deep. He just told me to share that with you. Listen, what a powerful yeah. night we've had. What a powerful night. Yeah. Just we shifted here and there, but we came back. And yeah. I pray that as you get off this call tonight, you're leaving with something. And again, yeah. we have the audio and we got a couple of notes that you will show up here, but um brother joe did a wonderful thing to pause in the middle and to just have us inclusively raise a prayer and then a praise for little elijah um mm. you know sister angeli uh, angela's grandson there in texas age 15 and even as you go through the remainder of this week let's collectively whatever you are what time you choose let's lift up this young man we want to see and hear the testimony that God heard us tonight. Yeah. All right. So we're so, going to focus our well, writings, yeah. I, I our sayings on his that. deliverance. Yeah. I want to see Lord. praise, praise statements. Focus. Yeah. Yes. This young man has to be delivered. He has to be set free to walk yeah. like our grandchildren yes. walk without yes. Yes. excuse. He is yes, God's Lord. child. The adversary must Look. release yes. him in release Jesus' him. name. In the name of Jesus. Sister Glenda yes. says she has a question yes. and then Sister Carolyn has a question. I, I have a statement. Go Give ahead. us a little volume there, Sister yes. Glenda. I would, we need to pray that in Texas they would have the kind of system that God will somehow bring that kind of system 
that they have in Massachusetts for autistic kids. Massachusetts is one of the states that has the best system. Yes. The best, the best programs, the best teaching for people with autism, the best teachers, the best advocates that somehow they will come up with those kinds of things, the one-on-one -on -one invention yeah. for yeah. advocates for autistic kids. In the name Any of Any child that has autism that yeah. comes through the system in Massachusetts, they become functionable. Yes, they, they are do. somehow functionable. They are yeah. able to make it to some level. I used to be an autistic teacher at the Joseph Lee School. And there are children that I that came through the system that I've been in that are in college right now. Graduate and going to college. Children that they thought would never be able to make it. But somehow, somehow, Amen. God's intervention, God is able. they are able to make it through the system. Boston, Massachusetts is one of the best states. For and that's why we're going to petition the throne of God. That gonna is pray what we need to petition. In the name of that, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That Jesus. somehow in Thank Texas, you, they will come up with a system that will yes, cater Lord. to children with autism. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. And in Thank the you, meantime, Lord. while we're praying for that, Thank you, Lord. Yes. Let us pray for the hand of God to touch him, like yes. how he touched the leper. That, yes. Yes. That, yes. The, the, the crippled yes. hands. That's yes. right. So Good that but they could build those things and they're wonderful. Yes. yes. But, we would, but we want God to deliver this boy tonight. Yes, yes. Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Standing yes. on your word. So, Carolyn, before we go to community. Yes, yes. In Jesus' I want, name, yeah. You know, um, give you guys thanks for praying for my friend that I told you she had that stroke and they had to intubate her. And her daughter saying that she's coming along nicely. And Praise the Lord. Uh, thanks. Praise and, the Lord. And also, Mr. Glenda did intervene with my nephew. He is autistic and he went to college, graduate, and is working. Yeah. Amen. Amen, Jesus. Thank yeah. you, Father. Oh, yeah. God, it's everywhere. And then he can do yes, anything. Lord. Yeah. And you know, all it's, your children. It's, it's really interesting that we're talking about autism. Uh, you know, I'm here in the schools in the Caribbean, and there are so many, many. cases. Yes. yes. That it, it it breaks my heart sometimes. Yes. Yes. I have a nephew not, who is it was, not identified. He's in he's in teachers' college, and he did not speak until he was almost five. Mm. And well, he, my grandson didn't speak till he was seven right too. Now. Wow. Wow. And he's Pray. very very smart. You can't touch a tech uh, a iPad or a phone <laughs> and think you're fooling him. He can open it and close it, and you wouldn't even know how. Well, they have to be smart. Is God made them in His image and likeness? Is the adversary who is restricting them yep, from them. functioning the way God intends them to function? And we have that power and authority to yes. break that break power that chain. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. yes. we're standing we're on your this. word. Yes, the power and authority that we have to yes, break, Lord, to break the forces. That would come against our children and ourselves. Yes, yes thank Lord. you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. So, um, yes. Before we Stop leave them, every Lord. Monday, we close our night with remembering the sacrifice that Jesus made, his broken body, and mm -hmm. it was shed. And so tonight we have Sister Sandra um, doing that with us. Next week we have from Florida, Sister Shelly Ann, and the week after that from Texas, Sister Monica. It's good to see a male person there in the Sister Vespa's home. God bless you, my brother. <laughs> it's, me it's me tonight. Yes, Sister Sandra. Okay, I didn't. Uh, Sister Vespa, you have a third person at the table. You want to introduce us? Unmute. <laughs> okay, this is my friend Chris, who's visiting us from Jamaica. Oh, well, welcome. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, God bless you. Did you make it on the phone? Yeah, all right. Thank you. Hi. God bless you. Yeah, God bless you. 
All right, sister, sister um, Sandra, direct from Jamaica, is going to take us to communion. God bless you. Amen. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for tonight. Yeah. Yes, God. You are awesome, yes, God. You said, Lord. by your strength, we are healed. Yes. No Amen. good, nothing good that we have done that we deserve. Your healing, your, your bless, your blessing, your faithfulness, mm. your mercy. Mighty yes. God, yes. You, to you said it is finished. Our yes. sins have been taken care of. Yes, Our Lord. lack has been taken care of. Sickness has been taken Lord. care of. Yeah. Yes. We are the right God in Christ Lord. Jesus. And we rejoice tonight Hallelujah. for the healing, the blessing, um, change yeah. that is going to happen in the realm of our own Elijah's life. God, you did that for us on the cross. Yeah. And so tonight, we give you thanks for the finished work on behalf of Elijah. Thank yes. you. And bless yes. you. And as we yes. say tonight, in the um, communion, you say, bye. You said by your Christ, we are healed. Yeah. So we are eating the, the body. Yes, body. Lord. You, you said sickness and disease mm. is not yeah. in heaven. And you 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 die you so we can so in the life that you are giving yes. us. Let us you are awesome, God. We bless awesome, you tonight God. for awesome, what you have already paid for. Awesome. Your blood that flows through us, God, God. You rejoice tonight. Sickness and disease, no weapon that is formed against us. Hallelujah. We will live and not die. We are the givers and not the taker. God, we bless you tonight. We honor you. So let us drink. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we drink tonight. The blood that flows in our body is not our blood, but it's the blood of the crucifixed one, our Father, our Savior, the ruler, the creator of this world. Magnify God with me tonight. We bless you as we drink. Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. You are an awesome God. You are Anna, faithful. Lord, you are yes. to your word. You are and not alive. Pray. God. There's and nothing you impossible for you to do, God. And oh, we honor you. That's God, God who we serve. Faithful is our God. Faithful is our God. Because you are an awesome yes. God. Lord. Amen. Bless your name. Amen. 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 Well, thank you, one and all. See you again next week. Let's do this. Let's gather and let's bring a friend. God bless you all. all right. Right. Bless 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 week. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.